This year's Valentine's boxes are a lot more intricate than they were last year. I just painted hearts and called it a day, turned them into a purse, and that was that. But this year, we're making a vending machine and a claw machine. So I'm going to show you how I did the vending machine. I'm sure you've seen this idea, but this is just kind of my take on the situation. Got some wire and made some coils and stuck them inside of a smaller box to fit inside of our actual vending machine. Now, the box that I used for the entire structure was just from Amazon. It's a gift box with a window in front, so that worked out perfectly. And then I just snuck the snacks inside of here, and they're all valentine's related so there's hearts on the wrappers and they just look so cute all together then i glued this inside and then of course we had to add some light so i got a battery operated light wrapped it all the way around the outside and then um this was me kind of contemplating what i wanted to do as far as hiding like the hot glue then i also added the lights to the outside of the box so that it lights up the inside where the snacks are and the outside then we got to decorating with some stickers and adding our numbers i just used one two three and four as if you're pushing the buttons to order those specific things from the vending machine. Then we added a push button, which I did end up changing, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. And then a coin slot. I did actually glue a quarter in there, so you could see that that was actually the coin slot. Then I covered the glue with these little ribbons, and you can see through them because they are just the way that they're made, so the lights still shine through it, which is perfect. Then I added a cut at the top for the Valentine's. So here it is without the lights turned on. It's so easy to get to. You just open up the side, and you can flip the battery-powered thing off and on here. But I love how it turned out. Tell me what you guys think.